Hello again, it's Charlie here. So uh, I'm moving on to another project, something different this time. And what I've decided to do is I thought I'd build or scratch build uh, a spaceship. Now I found this piece here it looks like a Zeppelin at the Value Village. I think it cost me a dollar ninety nine. Um, now it could actually be some kind of a drink container as it kind of screws together and what I've done is I've picked up a number of pieces from uh, various toys that are no longer working and uh, little printed circuit boards uh, part of an old railroad trestle a near plug from an Apple phone and I was looking for blue tack and I ended up getting Uhu tack which apparently is very similar and will work quite well and this comes in strips with uh, it's like chewing gum. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put small pieces on here and hopefully it will take and as an example this is just temporary to give us an idea of how it might look. So another piece might be up here could be the plug from the the Apple phone, and then I'll take a piece of uh, this part of a ramp for a bridge from a toy train, and maybe like so. And then I'll take one of these little printed circuit boards and I'll do the same. And once again, uh, after I've decided on the exact locations, I'll glue everything down and then I'll spray paint uh, a base coat of grey and, and then take it from there. So you can use just about anything on here. It's got a, anything and everything will work and won't look out of place uh, once you get everything attached. So you should always keep your eyes peeled whenever you go into Salvation Army store, Goodwill store. Um, but you never know what you'll find. It might prove to be useful in your scratch building. And this piece here uh, came from an old printer. I actually use that on my model railway in addition to this application here. So as you can see, uh, it's beginning to take shape. And while it doesn't look like much at this point in time, You can just imagine it's once it's painted, it might look like a spaceship. Part of the challenge with this one is the shape, the curvature, and trying to get flat pieces on it, but I don't think it really matters. So, and once uh, as I said, we've got them in position and 
I've spray painted it, it'll look quite effective. Even this one might have been part of a clock or a timer. It'll look quite good on here as well. Anything goes when it comes to designing rockets or spaceships. And we just have to go over it, make sure we get the right position for everything. And the blue tack is only to get an idea as to how it might look. I have a polystyrene ball that I might put under here, kind of a fuel tank type thing. Uh, but we'll see how we can make that fit. This is sort of part one of my scratch built uh, spaceship, space cruiser. And you know, I'll finalize the pieces that I'm going to put on here, and then we'll start spraying it and see how it goes from there. So, this will just take a little while until I get through this step and then move on to uh, the painting. So, it's not going to happen immediately, but it's something to look forward to in, in the coming weeks. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, uh, might have given you some inspiration. I think it's a great idea to collect, you know, printed circuit boards. You can always chop them up to suitable sizes and, uh, and stick them on and create yourself a spaceship. So I hope you enjoyed that and uh, look forward to part two, which will come in the coming weeks. Bye for now. Happy exploring.